here because it means my units can fill in the front lines and keep my cannons firing on the back. It's worth taking that minus one roll for it, to be honest. You're probably going to run away to Eel the Frogs, and I need to destroy you here and now. Hmm. Front row's about to collapse, which isn't good for me. Damn, they still get the turn in a month. Where are you going to run to? Probably south. Saxon Patriots are still an issue. Good, Danish is accepted. We'll go to war with Sweden after France. Uh, Sweden did join the coalition, didn't they? Ah, nothing a bit of improved relations we can sort out. Are my diplomats are fairly lazy at the moment. Is there anyone else worth making love me? Yeah, Nevers and Foi. Hmm. For allied Austria, there's not really much point in having them see the uh, the good side of me anyway. Could tie me into a war with Austria that I can deal with anyway, get them out of the uh, defender of the Catholic faith position. Wait, what? Hungary is part of the Empire? What? Hungary is part of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, but wow, that's something you don't see every day. An expanding HRE by the AI. Hmm, interesting. Jake, when are you planning on dismantling the HRE? When the uh, when dismantling the HRE is better than the bonuses the HRE currently gives me. Being a, uh, a theocracy or a papacy means that you don't get the negative revolt risk from having... Oh, jeez. They get a day here. You don't get the bonuses from legitimacy or republican tradition. So uh, that means you have to rely on tolerance of true faith to bring down the revolt risk, which leaves you very open to disaster. Well, disasters that rely on this national unrest. So for that, imperial integrity is extremely useful. I don't like you running away to Dauphiné, so what is it, Fort Level 2? Let's get it taken care of. Barely. I'm going to rip you to pieces, France. Probably take a burn for myself. Okay, so you are only allied with the Palatinate and Milan, huh? Yeah, Nevers will be the next to fall. I know I just said Sweden, but it'll be Nevers. Okay, so they're dawdling in Champagne. We can get there in the same month, and... Jake, inflation. Inflation, as long as it's below 5, is okay. As long as it's below 5, it's okay. Shame there's uh, no Master of the Mint available for me. Come on, baguette. Take my papal bull. Frenchman down, can you? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to regroup. I 
general's over there, is he? Well... My phone got off. Someone has followed you on Twitter. What a rarity, but what a useless notification. Everything that I've ever had worth saying is on my Twitter account. That is a joke. But if it flew over your head, then uh, don't worry about it. How about going the economic idea group? I love the economic idea group and the fact that it's getting buffed, you know, it's just better. Right, your Mauritians and Tertius, so I can't actually divide you up. You're going to be ready on the 10th of June anyway. You're running away to Maine where you will be stack wiped. And I was hoping we could, could have gone past this whole one unit just to prevent him making more. But it appears not. There's still one left to deal with here. Jeez, to think that's pretty much my entire army right there, and it's almost all mercenary. Still have a slight issue here, though, in Bourbon. So, let's just leave a token force, enough to keep the siege going. the rest of you march for Bourbon. Alright, rest in peace is France. You utter disgust. And uh, that's the rate at which our good friends the Livonian Order can convert land. Three provinces at once, 7.8. Whoa, what was that? Incredible. This is the power of the France. I feel like I was marching in there without a general. My general's over here in Vermandois. Mm, he's making more. You think maybe you could take care of that one to lose? little sense in having you over here. adding some cavalry to that stack as well. Right, at least we got Barcelona. Can we take it? We can take it. So we say, Barcelona, you belong to Galicia now. Get out of my face and give me all your money. And now Galicia is free to be integrated. It says it's going to cost me 20 dip, but watch as it costs me nothing. Galicia, they're very happy. If they're happy, I'm happy. So I'll get them inside of me after this war. This war ends, we integrate Galicia, we go to war with Nevers. Okay, good, they took care of those Rebs as well. Novgorod have no issues. I'm amazed Livonian Order having no issues here either. Especially with that uh, added revolt risk from... Uh, What am I even trying to say? From all those missionaries. 
Right, France still have 30 war score on us thanks to battles. So they could enforce peace on us right now, which is horrible. So we need some of these, these uh, sieges to go our way. Since they're not all going completely, let's add some mercs to the freight. Take more mill buildings. I'd rather finally get some ideas. Do I really need more mill buildings? My barracks are great. Alright, you know what? Why don't we just do all of Italy here? All of mainland Italy, that is. I, uh, once robbed by the Sicilian Mafia, never falling for it again. Slice the frog into as many pieces as possible. I like the way you think. Unfortunately, we only have one vassal we can feed here, and that is uh, a Toulouse. Yes, quite regrettable. Then again, they finally have an administrator. They cord up all of their Breton lands, and they're at plus one stability. I think we can uh, indulge ourselves in a bit of overfeeding fetish. Don't worry, guys. I learnt my lesson from Cataman. I'll overfeed responsibly. Alright, that's plenty to take care of you. Let's help with the limousine so that we get the bonus. So they think I liberated their territory. They'll be happy about that. You're instantly coring Arcelona. Great. Jake, more trade buildings. I think we're doing fine on the trade front. Do I even have the technology to build better trade buildings? Not yet. Oh, no, that's garbage. We can build post offices, and this is the one place that I want them. Because we're very uh, on the cusp with this. Are you part of it? Which trade company are you in? Although, if I zoom out to just the right level... It probably shows a trade company. Well, it's West African, which is the one we actually want. Were there others? No. This is part of the West African Trade Company, or at least it could be. But we'll have to integrate Galicia for that. And finally, France can no longer enforce peace on us. Lovely. that way to get to limousine. <laughs> Oldenburg's incredibly skilled general is just standing there observing, learning more, adding to his own tactics. What a probably great guy. Alright, so the full cost for France is 321, so we're going to slice him down by about a third. Claim Smolensk, that's my kind of mission. Alright, Muscovy. Golden Horde Conquest of Muscovy. Well, don't take Moskva. Please don't take Moskva. In fact, don't take anything you can't convert. You appear to have hit a snag with Vladimir. Ah, you're working on it. Do not want Firenze, yes. Excellent. Twelve base tax with religious zeal. They do see the light. Oh baby, that's good. Jake, why not conquer Venice? It's not a necessity. It's not even close to a necessity. I forgot to check and see if there are any colonists, but there aren't there don't appear to be. Like I said, Norway is too poor, and we never did check Denmark. Country, Denmark.
they just don't make enough income to colonize. Fortunately, they're reduced to only one province. We should make it our province. Alright, so now it's just the waiting game for all these sieges to progress. Feels good. Feels great. Oldenburg's amazing general knows not to participate in already won battles as there could be a stray bullet. He's a great guy. Gotta hand it to him. Arsenals are pretty good as well, but we don't need the force limit. Arsenals are fantastic for countries that stay small. If you have never played much with arsenals, play much with arsenals. So, how do we divide up France? Like I said, Averne is going to go to me. I will sell it off later. I only want to because it's low base tax and it'll give me the border that I need with Nevers to annex and release them. Otherwise, I'm just going to overfeed Toulouse in such a manner that his land becomes connected. Vassals with disjointed land get awfully confused at times. Ah, hello, Jazz Hands. Always a pleasure, sometimes. 54,000 manpower, the most we've ever had. Not a single revolt over here. Incredible Livonian order. You are shining beacon. Now, although the Swedish opinion of us is positive, that's not enough to get, kick them out of the coalition against us. But what will be is if we sacrifice another OPM vassal. And this is why we keep Avignon around. We'll probably release Avignon before we go to war with Nevers. So that's another thing on the to-do list. So we will have to pre-gift Galicia. That's all right, though. We're ready for everything. Jake, don't forget Galicia before Nevers. I know. I've got it in my head what I need to do. Little gift for them. Probably should have been gifting them up the hilt whilst I've had all this money so they build things for me. Cruelty of mercenaries, that's alright, we can have more expensive mercs. This is going to be quite funny. Actually, no. It's only three years of mercenary terrorism. I'm keeping my money. Alright, it's pretty amazing how low war score we have despite all this occupation, but that is uh, due to us not being particularly good at fighting. Uh, we we nailed it in the end. So yeah, even once we end this war, that'll be plenty. Shake the revolts will rise in occupied land. That's all right. I have no idea what you mean, but that's all right. Jake, don't forget to sell Holland. Yes. So we we, we really need a lot of. Uh... We need a lot of free diplomats for this. But that's all right. We will have four. Development of iron working. The price of copper has dropped while the demand for iron is on the rise. I just don't feel the attachment to these events the same way that I did supply and demand. Supply and demand was a great system. People didn't get it, but that's because people are stupid.
Oh, right. The event with the mercenary only increases revolt risk in the occupied land. I am understanding you now. Thank you. Alright, so this last province is going to swing the war completely from one side to the other. Hopefully I don't have to assault it. It's a pretty high, uh, pretty high odds of taking it. This number can go above 100. That would be an interesting thing to try and do. Alright, 100% for all that. So I know Avern is going to go to, to me. I'm not going to core it, I'm just going to give it to Toulouse when I'm done with it later on. Oh, and that's right, you did core everything completely, right? Great job. I love you, Livonian Order. Even though you're purple, I uh, just think of it as a handicap and praise you even more for going through those tough times. So, France has to be cut in half. There is no ifs and buts about that. Probably want to give you Anjo so that you can connect up your land. Dauphiné is such a pain, I want rid of it. Excellent. And yes, I'm overfeeding these guys, but I have every confidence that they'll be able to core it up. I mean, they're fleshing out Diplo ideas right now. They'll be okay. And they have positive stability, right? Plus one. Give me what little money you have left. So we do this. I release Avignon. Hopefully they still have that core. Yeah, for ages. We begin the integration of Galicia. I sell Haland and I go to war with Nevers. Sounds great. Sounds groovy, but we're going to do it at the turn of the month. Overextension, six point lots. Let's just get converting this land straight away so that I don't have to worry about it. It's the wrong stream to do it in. It can be done there, but I find it a lot easier to do here just because the UI is uh, more flexible. Two missionaries is fine. I'm going to be hanging on to this land for a while, so let's just increase autonomy as well. Begin your annexation. Nice and cheap. We can make it cheaper if we take this policy... Oh, I don't have it. Eh, oh well. Combat the heresy. How I would love to. What else is I going to do? We started integrating Galicia. We need to sell you Hland. Which essentially means we didn't have to sell you Arxus at all. But since I'm not interested in this land, you can probably have it all in the end. Commonwealth enter the coalition against us. We haven't got our holy war against you, but we will get it at the turn of the month. And I need to release Alenson because uh, too many diplomatic relations should never be regarded as a problem. Nevera will probably be a very short-lived vassal, but it's an easy way to get uh, get my way into this land. Uh, Palatinate. Yeah, two provinces, huh? The great thing about releasing Avignon all the time is that I keep getting a mission to take them back, and that, uh, that gives me 30 dip, so I really have no problem releasing them all the time. It's only a three base tax province as well. Where are we looking? Avignon. Did I say a Lenson? I say a lot of rubbish. And doing that triggered the game to recheck what Cassus Belai we have. So it gives me Holy War on you. Don't care about Milan. Do the Palatinate have any allies that I care about? Not really. So we just gun down the bear. Jake, can't you just use Tyrone? I could, but I'm not going to. It would cost me 50 dip to vassalize Tyrone. I ain't made of that. Could annex and release them, but that would take time. There is no time. Just to be sure, when I annex and release you, those are all your cores. It's not a huge amount of land, but uh, it's high base tax. Well, relatively 5, 8, 3, 6. Good enough. Holy war, and away we go. And who knows? If... Uh, if our vassal here instantly starts coring this land, we might even have a little Milanese gift for him. Oh, 
Are you Corin? He's not Corin. That is worrisome. Oh, right. That is also worrisome. Taking my eyes off the prize. Well, at least that's you nuked into orbit. Nice to be the one with a higher morale for a change, but we're still going to get wrecked in this battle. Again, he does not want to be coring this land. I wonder if I reload the game, he'll rethink it. He does, after all, have positive stability. Jake, why did you feed Toulouse Italian lands? Do you not want to form the Kingdom of Allah? Toulouse will not be a permanent member of our uh, society. They will be integrated. I fed them those lands because I wanted them to accept Lombard culture, and I actually went out of my way to do that, so that they could convert the lands for me. Jake, this is going to be like Cataman from the Nagur game. No, shh, don't, uh, don't bring that up. Cataman, we're good. There were no problems in Anatolia. No, I guess he just does not want to core that land. Either that or he has no admin to spend. Well, let's just pray that he doesn't get a stab hit. Hmm. Oh, there's a thought. Milan are only... Uh, no, I can get Palatin. So I was thinking I need to get rid of uh, Avignon in all of this. But I should be using someone else to get rid of Avignon. Someone like Tyrone. Because I'm going to be tanking a lot of uh, um, aggressive expansion for annexing this Holy Roman Empire land. Hmm. So what I should do is prepare myself on a separate war with Tyrone. So once we flatten the Milanese armies, we shall go and do just that. Well thought. Well met. I know you guys are a little broken. So go and have a vacation in northern Italy. The cruelty of mercenaries indeed. Where are you running to? Verona? What I'll do then is I will stick token stacks down so that you cannot run away to Coigno or Lombardia. Gee, I say Coigno like I'm Tony Montana swearing. Eh, easy as pie. Right, the Palatins are still an issue. I hope they don't walk over and... Uh, Make me regret getting up this morning. Oh, there we go. A bit of coring going on. Lyonne. The cheapest of the provinces that I gave you. So, yeah, that really doesn't bode well. Even if you complete that and you will get it done fast, you'll have about 27 base tax over overextension. Oh, well, I look forward to your revolts. I shall take care of them, don't you worry. Ah, you folks are free. Right. If you are free, please head up north. We shall dispatch the Irish. You guys are pretty free. Jake, where have you been in Italy in real life? I have never been to Italy. You want to know where I've been in my in my life? I